Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. We're going to read all aspects of life, health, money, work, love, everything. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. You're going to start to put the card, three cards for your health, three cards for your money and career, three cards for your love life. Then we're going to read everything together with one outcome. is two cards in here health money and career wow the king of wands and the queen of wands and your love life King of Cups, the Fool, Six of Cups. Great. Let's see. Your Oracle card is telling you that you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you, I ask you to relax and feel safe. Let's start with your health here. We have the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Devil, and the Four of Pentacles. It seems, Gemini, you left a commitment from the past here. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It's a commitment in life with family, with a friend, with work. Something was very hard in your life. You walked away like a desert, walking and walking, but you didn't reach anywhere. Then you took the decision and the top, the the road keep going harder and harder every time. So you took the decision that you are leaving. And this four of ones, I feel it in two energies. This is a commitment you left. And I believe after leaving this energy from the past, this hard energy from the past, you were walking towards your stability, your balance inside you. That 11-11 energy inside you, the complete. In yourself, with yourself. I feel maybe you didn't reach there, but this is your goal. You want to be complete by yourself. You don't want anyone around you to be attached to or to feel that you cannot live unless this energy or person is with you. You want to get rid of this energy. You don't want to be attached to anything or anyone except yourself. This is your goal and you are working towards what you are looking for. The plan is perfect. But reality, you have the devil and the four of wands. And I believe this is an energy, health-wise, it's a kind of a mental energy. You are in your mind, in your head about this, thinking all the time. You are not 100% sure that you can reach here. You feel that this is a very hard, long journey to do it by yourself. I want you to remember the past. 
when you were, were walking with someone else or some other energy in the past, your way was not easy. It was a very painful path you walked. Now, try it by yourself. You never know. If the path in the past was hard, that doesn't mean that the future will be like this. This devil, it's your thoughts in your mind. You have doubts that you will not reach where you want to reach. And that's what making you pulling away from life, from everything, scared. And I feel you are scared emotionally and you are scared maybe for some of you financially as well because you don't know if you will go there. You will. If you have the power and the right mindset, you will reach any goal you want. As long as that goal depends only on you. If you have a goal in your mind, depending on someone else or another energy to do it for you, you have to be worried and have that devil energy in your mind because you are not in control, someone else is. But if you have that goal and you are only depending on yourself to reach where you want to reach, this energy is disturbing you. Because when you are in a negative energy, you are attractive a negative outcome. But you, when you are in a positive energy, positive outcome will be your outcome. Let's go for money and career. We have the King of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. What you have in mind is what you're going to have. This is you. In money and, and in your career and in your finance and in your life to build a stability and dependent life. You need to be balanced and you are. You have the king and the queen of wands. Masculine, feminine energy, balance. You are determined to reach where you want to reach. With that king of wands, determination, powerful, knowing what you want, ready to act. And with this queen of wands, knowing when it's time to wait instead of acting and feeling that deep intuition inside you to guide you through the way. And with this eight of pentacles here in the middle, I don't feel you are a lazy person or you are not ready to work hard to reach your goal. You are. Back to our card. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and have faith. Have faith in yourself. And let's go for that love life of yours. This is a very beautiful energy, very beautiful energy. You are building here, going the right way. There is this energy disturbing you and I feel this energy is your thought, your fears. If you will put the fears aside and focus on work, you will go where you want to go because fear only will make you slower. Only fear will only pull you back. It will not give you any good. Why are you are afraid? There's nothing to be afraid of. Concerned sometimes, yes. If this energy of being afraid of the future and not knowing what's going on, what will happen to you, Sometimes it's okay. It's like 
normal to feel this from time to time. But don't let this energy control your life. Don't stay night and day instead of focusing on your goal, trying to calm yourself down from this fear inside you. Don't waste your time with this energy. Take that purchase time of yours and put it in the right place so you will reach where you want to reach. And in love, King of Cups, the Fool and the Six of Cups, there is an energy of a soulmate. Someone very near and dear to your heart. This King of Cups, to be honest with you, I feel this King of Cups is your energy. I feel your energy from that King of Cups ready to open up and start a new beginning with someone in life and you are very open to life you are you are too close to be balanced in this 11 11 energy i feel you very grounded very wise you are the king of wands and the king of cups you know when to switch from determination to kind and love there is a beginning in front of you and you're so ready to take that leap of faith and this six of cups is the energy of a soulmate and this energy is reminding you of something very near and dear to your heart someone You miss. And you will be with soon. Something surprisingly will happen in your life. This is a beautiful energy. I feel you are missing someone. And that someone doesn't have to be a lover. Maybe a friend, a family member. And I feel there is something magical will happen and bring this person back to your life. I know there is nothing here to tell about that, but this is my feeling. This is how I felt when I saw that card. Let's see the outcome. The tower. What need to go, has to go. So you can build. This tower is a very positive one in this deck. Full of butterflies and transformation. I feel there is something shocking, positively, is coming your way. It has to do with this Six of Cups. It has to do with this soulmate energy. Someone you miss will come back to you. How? I don't know. This is my feeling. I hope I'm right. There is somebody you miss a lot in your life will come back to your life surprisingly. You will not believe yourself. So relax and have faith. Thank you so much for being with me, my friends. Wish you all the best. I'm so glad I have a very beautiful energy, feeling very alive, very happy. But this energy of nostalgia got me at the end. I feel as if I'm like, you are missing someone till the point that when you think about them, you cry. And I believe you will see them soon. Thank you so much, my friends. I'm sorry. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.